This is about morning doves, the star of our show today. Um, you probably have noticed lately, I hope you have anyways, if you've been out feeding filling your bird feeders in the morning, the, the, the amount of bird song is really increasing right now. I, I hear my red-bellied woodpecker singing in the morning, the Carolina wrens are singing in the morning. So it's to them, for our, our resident birds, um, it is the start of the nesting season. One of the advantages that you gain as a bird by toughing out the winters uh, here in this area is you can sneak in uh, an early nesting. You can uh, get prime nesting sites by nesting early. And one of the prime examples of that are morning doves. Morning doves are you know, a game bird. They are hunting season on them. But they're also one of the favorites of bird feeders for a lot of people. The, uh, they're a symbol of peace to people, of gentleness. They're very... Uh, they're, they're interesting birds in that, in that sense. That uh, sense, there are some people who ask me how to keep morning doves out of their bird feeder. So it can vary both ways. But uh, they're starting to look for nests already. I have seen morning doves sitting on a nest with snow on their backs. Uh, we often call them the rabbits of the bird world. They have six uh, up to six nests a year. Now they only have two eggs typically in a nest, but they do have lots of babies, and that's one of the reasons why we have. Uh, able to have hunting seasons on them. They're a harvestable, renewable resource. They have lots of babies, and therefore there are as a supplemental populations for hunting uh, on them, and that's why there are hunting seasons on morning doves. So, uh, the, the the one of the jokes about them also is while they have lots of nests, and I here, here I am standing in front of the nest boxes, which they do not use nest boxes. In, in fact, they are probably one of the most flimsy nest builders in the. In the bird world, we joke about their, that four sticks laid over a limb is a morning dove nest. That's, uh, they typically don't put a lot of effort into their nest building, but they do like to build their nest in uh, thicker vegetation. Evergreens are very popular for them, um, where the, the, nest are, the, the limbs are quite strong, and they just lay a little bit of nesting material across there and lay those two eggs uh, and incubate them. So we have lots of nests. Uh, flimsy nest, but only a couple of babies per year. Now, attracting them to your bird feeders are, are not very hard because they are the vacuum cleaners of the bird world. Uh, they eat almost anything that you put out for them. Uh, their favorites, if you want to cater to them, are millet and safflower seed. Safflower seed, they absolutely love. Um, and it needs to be spread on a flatter surface. They don't do real, real well with little perches. So, on the ground, on a ground tray or on a good sized tray on a feet in a tube feeder or something will, will work for morning doves. And then the opposite of that is if you're trying to discourage morning uh, doves from your landing on your feeders, just take the trays off of them because they need that tray to land on. So they're also another interesting uh, the bird in that they, one of the reasons we call them the vacuum cleaners is because they don't sit there and crack the seed open like the cardinals do. A lot of species have to crack that seed coat open to get the heart of that seed out. Morning doves just swallow the seed whole, and they gather that seed into uh, their esophagus in a place called the crawl or the crop, and it, they can hold a lot of seed there. Then they can fly off somewhere, find them a nice safe place to sit, and digest that seed in peace, as they say. Um, they, they can grind it up internally themselves. So uh, they, I, I, one interesting fact I read about them one time is that the record that they know of for the number of seed, seeds in one single crop from a morning dove, because they collect these uh, in hunting uh, seasons and things, a lot of biologists will collect the crops to see what these, these birds are eating, uh, was 17,000 seeds, in excess of 17,000 uh, tiny grass seeds in one crop. So they can haul a whole lot of seeds and, and they're, they take off and go to digest. So the morning dove is a, a pretty interesting bird. You know, they, they, they are loved by most people, not so favorable for another. So um, this is also an indication to me, the, the singing and the doing this program is a reminder that February is the month that we suggest cleaning out your birdhouses because it is the early part of the nesting season. And while birds like bluebirds won't lay eggs yet, they will quite often go in and out of your bluebird boxes this time of year to start uh, pair bonding and looking and, and staking out places to nest in the spring. So it's a good time. If 
you know, we have some warm days coming up in the next week or so to get out, clean out those bluebird boxes, clean out your end boxes, uh, and get make sure everything's in good shape for when these birds start to seek out nest sites. So uh, if you like the videos, please share them, give us a like, uh, send us suggestions. Like I said, this was a suggestion from the internet, so uh, give me some ideas for programs, and we will see you next week. Till then, come on, let's talk birds.